Hey there everybody, it's Jeff Webb. Uh, I'm here at Radical Central. I've just wrapped up a day of watching my friends over at London, online at True London. <clears throat> my voice is really creaky today because I had a massive migraine yesterday, but that's okay because I'm here to talk to you guys and that always makes me happy. Because this is a Radical Nation Daily Vlog. Hey Todd. Uh, here we go, children. It's everything fun, dialed up. Hey everybody, so I'm not, I don't have quite uh, as much of my ranty pants on today. Um, again, uh, it was uh, just a uh, crazy night last night. Um, but that's okay, feeling a bit better now. So uh, tomorrow we're doing our Blue Belt training here in Toronto. That's going to be fun. Uh, we've got a full house. we got a full eight, eight recruiters we're going to be training. So that's going to be a really fun day. And, uh, and then uh, Friday, uh, following up on some of the plans that are coming together for Radical Planet, that's going to be fun as well. And then the weekend, oh, and, the, and my little girls are here too. I think we're going to go to a, a little uh, a kids play thing where kids do drama in the morning, which is kind of fun. Um, and um, and if you haven't seen a whole bunch of between, you know, four-year-old to nine-year-olds running around pretending to be kangaroos, you haven't seen anything. Um, it's a little bit disturbing at times. But anyways... Um, so that's going to be, uh, that's going to be Friday too. And I don't even know why I'm talking about that. So, um, I just, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, so that's coming up. And then on the weekend, uh, the Radical Nation is heading over to PodCamp in Toronto. Here's the reason why I think recruiters should get involved with things like PodCamp. So if you don't know what PodCamp is, it was the original on conference. Before Bill Borman, before Jeff Webb, before John Sumser, before Jason Davis, I can just keep naming names if you want. Before Craig Fisher, there was PodCamp. And uh, PodCamp was basically for technology geeks to get together and talk about, well, technically geeky things. Uh, they coded together. They created applications together. They did open source together. It's grown significantly beyond that. So now marketers go there. HR people go there. Social media geeks go there. Um, technology people still go there, but they, they have their own camps as well. But basically, the camp movement has uh, has really spawned an interactive community that gets together and, and they share ideas. And again, here's why, like the ring, by the way, I love this ring. Um, here's why uh, Here's why I like the idea of going to PodCamp. It's not all recruiters. It's not all HR people. In fact, it's going to be very few recruiters and HR people, which means there's going to be a lot of cool ideas that, you know, you and I and the rest of our industry haven't thought about before which means that we're going to get to take those ideas to, um, to steal them, to use them, and we're going to be able to uh, put that into practice within the recruiting sphere. And that's really where a lot of innovation in the recruiting and HR sphere comes from. It's from going out to other industries and, um, and really looking at what they do from an innovation perspective, taking that, turning it around, and, and applying it to the recruiting and HR space. So, you know, if you do have a pod camp near you, and I know, you know, my friend Amber Osborne goes to these things all the time because she's kind of a geeky girl. Um, and so that's that's something that she does. But if you do have a pod camp near you, um, then I would I would encourage you to go. I would encourage you to go and speak as well, because um, especially if you're a technology recruiter, these are where your candidates are. These are where the really hot, hot candidates are that you're not going to be able to find um, online. You're going to need to go offline to find them. And you're going to be able to speak to them, hear them speak, hear their concerns from uh, from a job seeker perspective about what it's like to deal with recruiters. But if they think you're cool because you've shown up at PodCamp and you're talking about some cool stuff, then um, yeah, they're probably going to want to talk to you when they're looking for a job. So, um, so there's that. But also there's some really cool ideas. So that's happening. That's happening on... Um, uh, on the weekend, and I'm going to be excited to be there. I'm going to be shooting a lot of little 15 seconds of virtually nothing videos there, and I'll be putting those out um, at the end of the weekend. So, guys, that's about it for me today. I will remind you, though, that Ask Jeff is coming up in two days' time. So, if you have a job seeker question that you were a job seeker question, job hunter, job seeker question that you always wanted to ask a recruiter but were afraid to, then leave that question on Twitter using the hashtag Ask Jeff or you can leave it as a comment on this video, or you can leave it on Facebook or Google+. And um, I'm going to be putting those all together, and questions to those answers will come out on Friday. 
And uh, guys, that's about it for today. I hope you are well. I hope my true London friends and fa friends and fans and people uh, stay well and stay safe there in the east end of London. Uh, I know you guys get a little bit wild because you're recruiters and nobody parties like a recruiter. And um, I wish you well, and I will see you all tomorrow.